at THS, I'm Andy. And I'm Brooklyn, and welcome to the Trenton News Today. Let's get straight to it. On March 10th, there is an adjusted schedule due to first hour exams. That exam will be followed by the second and third hour exams the very next day. And finally, uh, final exams will conclude on March 12th. The start of the third trimester is on the 15th. Students will re be released at 1030. So excited for that one. <laughs> Me too. If you are happy with your school pictures or missed the day, you are in luck. Picture retakes are scheduled for March 24th between 9 and 11 a.m. Spring break begins at the conclusion of the school day on March 26th. And school resume on April 5th. In addition, that day before break is an asynchronous day. That means you won't have any required Zooms and will have to complete an assignment for attendance instead. So excited. Don't have yeah. to go to class. <laughs> we want to thank everyone who recently subscribed to our YouTube channel. We hope to bring you even more news and events. Now, let's go to Caleb with the latest news regarding sports. Thank you, Andy. Uh, today, boys and girls varsity bowling compete against Allen Park at 3.30. Tomorrow, girls JV and varsity basketball play Roosevelt Wyandotte uh, High School at 4.30 and at 6 p.m. Respectively, boys JV and varsity teams play against Roosevelt Wyandotte at home, this time starting at 5.30 and 7. Then at 7.30, the boys varsity hockey team plays Heartland High School home. That's all I have for this week. Back to Andy. Good luck to everyone who is playing tonight and tomorrow. Also, don't forget that if you are not able to attend any home games or events, check out TPS Television on YouTube. We might be streaming those events for you to watch at home. Have you ever wondered what the fit is at THS? Well, here you go check out this video detailing the fit of Trenton. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Andy in the Hallway. Today we will be asking staff members, what's your favorite thing about working at THS? As a student employee at THS, my favorite thing about working here is getting to work with some friends and family and getting paid for it. Also, if you want to be a student employee, contact Ms. Lopez. Hey, Ms. Grinsky, can you tell us your favorite thing about working at THS? People, all of you. Thank you so much. I'm with Miss Matusik. What's your favorite thing about working at THS? I absolutely love working with all the students in this building. Thank you so much. Here I'm with Miss Dubozik. Miss Dubozik, what's your favorite thing about working at THS? I have to say being around all you students and getting your energy. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mr. Van Dyne, what's your favorite part about working for Trenton Public Schools? I'd have to say putting up with smart aleck kids and my summer's off. Perfect, thank you so much. All right, so we need a couple more staff members to ask us what their favorite thing at THS is. Hey, how about you? Perfect, thank you so much. <laughs> Mr. Mena, can you please tell us your favorite part about working at THS? My favorite part is going home for the summer. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mr. Gaynor, what's your favorite part about working at THS? I love working with my colleagues and the students. Thank you so much. Okay, Ms. Lowe, what is your favorite part about working at THS? You guys. All of us? Okay, 99.9%. <laughs> Perfect, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, Ms. Cheek, what's your favorite thing about working at THS? Well, that's very easy. It's the students. Um, I love working with the students every day getting to know them, and just helping them grow and be able to move on and be successful after high school, so. Perfect, thank you so much. <laughs> Ms. Lopez, what's your favorite thing about working at THS? Oh my God, the student. Alrighty, Mr. Menser, what's your favorite thing about working for Trenton? Favorite thing has always been the same. 27 years, it's about the students, kids first, and that's kind of what we try to do as much as we possibly can. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> In conclusion, we have figured out today that the staff members of THS really do enjoy the students. And as a student myself, we would like to thank all the staff members at THS for all the hard work that you do. Wow, Andy.
Andy. That was so cool. Thank you for telling us about the, how much the teachers love working for Trenton Public Schools. It's a bit cold today, so let's go to Caleb with the weather report. Hi, everyone. I'm Caleb with weather. Well, after weeks of really cold temperatures, I have some good news. It's getting warmer. However, yes, I have to address the elephant in the room. Today has a high of 39 degrees and a low of 30. There will be plenty of sunshine to go around. Then tomorrow, we have partly cloudy skies with a high of 50 degrees and a low of 28. Similar weather on Thursday. Then Friday, we will have more sunshine with a high of 43 and a low of 25. That's all I have for this week. Let's go back to you guys. With all students returning to school, we need to remind ourselves of the expectations we have in our classrooms and in the hallway. Let's take a look at a student production. Let's not do that because we are running out of time. <laughs> and that is indeed. Wow. wow, that was so cool. Thank you for that reminder. Of course. Speaking of reminders, if you receive an email from the yearbook team, please follow up. They need to hear from you and fill out the pages of their yearbook to capture the memories of this school year. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Poma. And I will do that. I will do that as well. A huge iceberg the size of New York City has broken off an ice shelf in Antarctica. It is 490 miles long, which is about 190 miles larger than New York City. Scientists have been expecting this event for a decade now. That is really big. That is very big. Really big. That concludes TNT News for today. I hope you all have a great day, and always stay safe out there. And that concludes...